Hey YouTube, this is Dom. Today, um, I'm gonna do a remake video on a particular Pong console that I think this video, I think this channel deserves better than a does some weird or better yet some kind of crummy video. So this time I'm gonna make some improvements on the old video, but this time make it in high definition. Now anyway, today we're gonna review. I, I'm going to talk about a pawn console I, that is made by the one and only Robert's the Pro Line Company called the Super Color Video X. Now it's one of those pawn consoles that are in color. It's the only Robert's Pro Line pawn console I have that is in color, at least at the time that this video is recorded. Now it comes with, and much like the Volley 6, it comes with the same light gun as shown on the box. It has, it has, it has shoot games, it has shoot 'em up games where you, where you uh, shoot a square. Um, and it's also got like four. Con it's got ten games. Lies. It has four, but it does have a four-player mode. Unlike most Pong consoles, that only have two-player modes. So you can plug in four players. Here's the top of it which shows the games now let me now let me show you the console before I point out the features of this console I anyway here it is sorry anyway um, now to start things off um, the console was developed by the Moss Technology Incorporation Incorporated Company Probably the same company who who made the chips, the the microchips for the for the Commodore PET computer from Commodore, which that's another story entirely. And it's also published by Roberts Proline. And now, who that company is, I have no idea who it is. But if you guys know by any means who that company is, please let me feel free to let me know in the comments below, because I would love to find out. Now the Super Color Video X is dead is a dedicated console playing three Pong variants and two target game shooting target shooting games. The console uses the MPS seventy six thousand I I mean seventy six hundred zero zero one dedicated Pong chip. And its alternate and its alternative console names is the Super Color Video X. I Super Color Volley X, which is Robert's alternate really alternative alternate release, and the Sportsorama A, also another console made by Roberts, which those two consoles are a subject for another video, if I ever get my hands on them. Sorry. Anyway, that was just my anyway. It's got four games, like I said, tennis, hockey. I'm just gonna call that handball because I don't know how to pronounce that. Let me zoom in. Yeah. This guy. This handball and target and ski. It's got a reset button, silver on off switch, a serve button, but that's optional. You can actually switch this to make it automatically send the ball. It's got game variations to select between different player modes. It's got two different difficulties, speed of the ball or pedal size. The controllers pop out on the side like this and hangs on to that hinge and it's also got this uh, wire tucked in there. It's got two simple knobs for controllers, nothing on the front, but on the sides it's got two 3.5 ports to plug in two more controllers are identical to these, like this, it has its own 3.5 millimeter jack. So I guess four players. So I guess you can play four players to this console, which is pretty cool. On the back, it's got an AC adapter port, which is the same as the two controller ports, the port for the light gun, and a video connector, which is internally built into the console. Now, before I move on, I'm just going to talk take a moment to tell you that it uses a connector like this you normally plug this into a box 
and then screw the box in the back of the vintage TV that uses VHF. But I recommend you get a coaxial adapter, plug this into the modern TV on the coaxial adapter, and use the modern TV instead. Otherwise, this is what it's like, and it's not compatible with TVs today. Anyway, underneath. Hey, whoops. Underneath the console, it's got. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. It's got. It's got a battery compartment. Now, this is one of these Pong consoles that uses C batteries. Much like any other Pong console, like, say, the Coleco Telstar. It's got a channel select, serial number, like, console's identity right here. It's made in Korea. Now, let me show you the light gun. Now, before I show you, I'm going to warn you that what you're about to see may look like a real gun, but it's not. But with that being said, let me show you. This is, now this like, here it is. It's shaped like a pistol, but you can also convert it into a rifle. Also, I added this orange tape so it looks fake. Now, it's made by Tiger Electronics Machines. Tiger Electronics, who's practically the same company who makes those, those handheld, those Tiger Electronic handhelds. LCD handhelds, I mean. You can also unscrew this. If I can figure out how to unscrew You can unscrew this nut and replace the barrel with a rifle barrel as soon as I find it. And here's the rifle barrel. Also, here's the stock for it. Oh, it's plastic, by the way. You just hook this thing. You just hook this thing like so, and then you screw this thing in. Oh, and it uses this kind of connector. Now, I must admit, this is not its original light gun. It looks the same, except the other one I got with it bro is broken, so I had to substitute it with, the, with one of the others I have on me for the Volley 6, which that's the subject for another video, the Volley 6. Anyway, here's the AC adapter. Uses, this is the AC adapter I got with the console, even though it's blank. But those are the common ones that, you, that are typical for any consoles this, at this time period. Here's the instruction manual that, that I got with it. It's got Video X on it and Volley X on it, which is kind of weird, even though this console is different than it looks on the picture. Shows you all, shows you everything you need. Shows you how to hook it up. Games. Shows you how to change the light gun, etc. Whoops, and that's it. Overall, it kind of gives, kind of feels like a 1980s, early 1980s console than a 70s one. Well, but anyway, stay tuned for part two where I. You know where where I show off what this console can do and yeah subscribe like comment and be sure to hit the notification bell and share um, hit the notification bell to be notified of what videos have been uploaded and yeah stay tuned for part two where I show up what this console can do this is me signing off